we see everything. And we are beginning to crack, beginning to rise, beginning to force our way inside and jam spanners in the death machine of the unillumined mind, draining blood from our eyes to fuel the grinding engines of corporate rule and planetary demise. We are reaching outside because inside so tight and dark. Surely there is space out there to be had. Surely there are ships leaving for the centre. Surely you believe in whales and the great drifting beauties of the mortal world turning. We've been running blind for years, but now we have found our way out the cave and are launching on up the rocky way of steps to the cracked summit in the howling wind to look down and remember it all. Look down on we, a whole generation chucked and left alone in shadow to pry apart the machine-locked shackles of our industrialised minds. Cast on checker surfaces like dead pawns in the fat long rolling games of dead thousand year men seeking deliverance from their own demonic doubles. On we, a whole generation pressed beneath the leaning belt buckle millions in their cold telly homes without light. Pressed and forgotten and trampled until juices oozed from our snotty, soggy brains out onto the rolling dead road of a world gone mad, gone tame, gone done beaten into submission and sleeping its way to depraved oblivion so as not to face the face of the trembling child at dawn and the fat demon men who want their mummers, who churn the checks and vats and check the time and turn it winding round our sorry necks on a number line before we can get together and get it and stand up and roar like lions in the night of humanity's frenzied slumber. On we, a whole generation kicked pissed on and mocked by the sneering black tie drones huffed and clenched and livid. We a whole generation staring at the sun. We who have seen things, seen untellable imaginellas at sunset, crowds praising dawns on psytrance mountains and clockwork gyro gypsy drum jazz bands tearing through the hot nights of Spain. We who have been denied, we who have been told, we who have been pushed and forced and fixed in electric trance years of sleep before the screen. We who are hopeless yet bountiful and gilded with promises to ourselves of a brighter one beyond. We who cram at laptops till our noses are bursting and walls cast through tears to wail at the feet of our countless pointless applications. We who see everything and continue, who smell the funk and stink like silver strings on slap, who got high in the park after dark and blundered through the thunderstorm of self-destructing sight, whose freedom is a full-time occupation paid in light, who paint ourselves on into countless reinventions of our fluid glowing selves, the pulsing neon slime on the beach at midnight, who are no longer afraid of anything except ourselves, and can feel the breeze from the forest stirring through the blackened caves. Now our textbooks die on the shelves, we come alive and make our way, we make our own reality, and will remain untamed and wild. We let loose on the tight-knit cities to herald in the gardens of the blossoming mind that tower in trees above the floor-scraping armies, peeling their rotten eyes for the next invisible dollar. We recreate, co-create, elevate, levitate, meditate and mediate to alleviate the sorry state of this sorry, worried state intent and bent to hell on ravaging the imagination for gold. We who have been digitised, incentivized, and mechanised, who were taught to self-destruct but found the elixir of the realised hiding right between our eyes and lies. The grail left under our noses among the flowers of free-flung poses, dancing and singing in showers of bodies all opening like roses. Who are hacking ourselves faster than the silicon ape can handle. Now the race is on, and we are the driveling underdogs from the plastic lotus overworld who have smelt further than the next paycheck, who need nothing, who are already dead and free, who seek no meanings and run from no nothings, poised in between like dancers at sea, who see this melting city as no more than a smoking vision and drift on as butterflies invisible to the village and the soft horizons unseen. We who admit we are always naked, whose bones will dance as dust to their soily homes in mother, we who are our own brother, discovered and uncovered, the lands within uncharted and wild before the childish eyes were smothered. 
we who have been meticulously measured from age 11, tracked and stamped and centrified and neatly packed up for delivery to the waiting conveyors running ever on, the gaping maw of the morning alarm and the caffeinated glut of hazy guts we called days. We who will die for the tranquil, lest the tranquilized do not sense her. The light of the human marigold, unsubjected and disidentified in seven sermons of guttered legalese, thrown overboard to chew the bulk of a rapidly sinking career profile, a coffin filled with fumes, where we are ghostwriting the future in fire and blood for five pounds an hour, where we wash your dishes and scrub and nurture and dust, maintain and preserve the world like a hot and spicy jam bound for eternity's waiting spread. Toast us with indulgence and accuse us of relishing. Ignore us as you watch wide-eyed from the corner and hunger for a scent of paradise as we guzzle fat, soggy mangoes from supermarket bins and alchemically morph the rich scum lining of a planetary monster into visions of diabolus dancing freedom. We who are cut from our homes in trees and hand back our slacks and shoes and cry because it will not work out. It cannot work out. And nor did we ever want it to, just to play. And that one soul whole light ripped from us by prying jealous hands and kept away till we cried ourselves to sleep again. You cannot give us anything, and nor would we want it or would take it from you if we did. We are alone together, and we are bringing forth ancient guzzling gods and storms of fire and deadbeat poets and howling winds from the dream time. And we are tearing down your metal blanket walls from the inside out, beginning with this cracked ceramic casing of beliefs in imperfection. And we are gold gluing our frayed stone bodies into raging fullback bandit packs that you will step aside for and allow to manifest the power of the two horned goddess. We are here to bring destruction before you fall asleep again. We are here to jump the train. We are here to leap clear of the dead dream of life you told and sold and moulded us to fit. We are unravelling and spluttering our guts and shame all over your shining white counters and bulging abattoirs of shiny plastic packaging. We are singing on the tube. We are the dirty, fucked up love children of embarrassment and sin. And we have come to scream and dream and scrawl prophecies in the tunnels of your reckoning that are filling up with foul water and rats and thrown out cabbages, all waiting for you to arrive at the banquet of your neglect. Yet stars blink and lead us on. And you too, if you care to listen, or listen to care, or any other station rolling in your receiver and no one else's. We hold no bars and erect no fences. We simply are, like you who declare yourselves XYZ, except we see that XYZ are dead and gone before they even arrive. We hand back all fixed identities that we appreciate the offer. We rather zim, zip and fly in the all being, all beings all the time. We piss on plants because we love them. We fly back to the void for tea. We got eagles waiting in our Himalayan palaces and temples simmering in the hot karma jungles waiting for the pulse of our mirrored bodies. We got 10,000 cackling sutras of metacomic L-speak to sprinkle on the nozzles of the dead dog crowds. We got this and that and all of that and mountains burning in the night and reflections in our eyes of a time when the dream is softer and closer and closer still to silence and the rising waking songs of illumination cast by long loving moons on the lost shores of the free children of the real world. Listening.